I am Caitlin R. Stephan, and I am here to teach you today just about some spirituality and things that could elevate you and particularly to get you to think for yourself. That's all we want you to do. Why? Because you have your best interests at heart, always. You're, you always have, you always will. So, to, but you got to take to find the full circle and get back to your to that version of yourself can be kind of hard depending on the trials and tribulations you may have experienced in your life, right? So, when we take our discomforts and we put it in the spiritual realm, right? That's when we start identifying what's what, who's who, and why is why and how's how, right? <laughs> Even though there is no why, there is no how, but that's beyond what I'm trying to speak on right now. But okay, so when we when we link the two, it gives us ways to identify what the hell is really going on because when you see beyond the veil and you know that we're in a matrix, right? And just like everybody always asks, what's the matrix? It's the like Thanksgiving coming up. I, I we just got a download on while I'm driving. It's always when it happens usually, and that's when I'm like more willing to teach than than normal. But um, it's easier for me to articulate it in words, I guess. But uh, I don't even know why I went there. But so, anyways, I completely went blank. Oh, Thanksgiving. So it's a holiday that represents genocide on the Indians, right? That's what happened, guys. You know what I mean? Like, let's be real. They got pushed to the shittiest parts of the United States. And where there's your res reservation. And they never did get their their uh, chair in Congress. There, there's all kinds of stuff that went down that never happened. And they never spoke upon because they, they just, they know. If you know, you know. You don't speak upon certain shit if you know. But I'm trying to to, to deliver this in a way that you don't reject it. And you just have an open mind, right? And be aware of what you're participating in and how it could be affecting your life on a daily basis spiritually by participating in tradition or things that we didn't fully understand, just like the whole Santa Claus thing. It spells Satan if you just take... And some people are like, you're, you're going too far on that. They're, you're making a clause with Santa, right? And you're lying to your children, I had to tell my kid, because I, I, I did it too. I did it out of me thinking I was doing the right thing. I was being a good parent. You know, that you got that innocence and that, you know, dear Santa, Saint Satan, and then they sign it. You're supposed to write your vision and make it plain to God. And that's scripture. So here you are making, you're writing what you want to Satan as a child. So you're basically signing a contract with giving away your birth, get a Holy Spirit, get, giving away some of your birthrights, right then, dude, holy shit, God, Jesus, help us, God, help us straighten out, you know, so we can get on the straight and narrow, so we're not dipping and dodging no more, you know, we're taking back our turf, amen, but, yeah, so that's what I'm saying beyond the veil. Like you're going and buying all this stuff, all this, all like Christmas. Every people go into debt every year, credit card debt. They work their fucking asses off, trading their vitality for this material that is it's disintegrating every second of every day. Just like your body. People don't think about it like that, and when you do, I don't know if I'm if I'm, if I'm hurting people with that or or not. Like, I, cause I, that's the last thing I want to do. I don't want to teach something that's going to shock somebody to fear or like awareness to the point where it, cause this type of stuff can drive you mental. Let's be real. That's why you keep your eyes on Jesus. You see what I'm saying? Keep your eyes on His commands, and you'll be fi just fine. You'll manifest everything you're supposed to. We're constantly manifesting, whether you believe in it or not. It doesn't matter. Just like God, He exists whether you believe in Him or not. It's it's it is what it is. And that Abrahamic covenant, He's remembering, <laughs> and He's dropping it on people like everyday people like me. Like it says in Acts chapter seventeen, verse two, I think. Um, and in the end times, He shall pour Spirit upon all flesh, men and women, and you know, will be dreaming dreams and 
proclaiming, you know, the days to come or whatever. So we see that. We see that taking place, right? We see the repentance that's taking place in our country, which is which is good. I mean, like that's was the whole point. But we've let it get a little too far within our everyday life of our country. Like people are worried about Starbucks flavors coming out when our economy's getting ready to fully collapse, on like a Great Depression, like something we haven't seen. Not our any anybody that's alive has seen when in, within our in a generation okay your great grandma or whoever could be alive right now didn't experience that and if they did they were a child they're little so that there's something to think about and take into consideration for sure for sure guys confess the sins of your ancestors knowingly or unknowingly because nine times out of ten they are the reason why you're not getting your inheritance. They're the reason why your birthrights have been held withheld from you because of covenants that they ignorantly made before your time. And it lingers in your DNA and your spirit. Okay? Your soul. All right. I love you guys. Until next time, stay prayed up. I hope this I hope this made sense and stay up.